Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox. In today's video, we will see about the Unify Network application. What is Unify Network? This is the part two of my previous video introduction to Unify. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Previously, I have done a video on the introduction to Unify part one. I will put down a video up in the i button you can check that so i have covered the topic of unify what is unify so basically you will understand exactly what does unify do uh, most of uh, uh, i mean everyone questions what is ubiquity and what is unify so if you check that video you will get to know the idea what is unify and what does unify do uh, and so Today I will cover the same topic and it will be the part 2 so I will cover the topic of Unify Network so in the Unify Network what is Unify Network what applications it does it run and how you can manage and everything in this video so stay tuned so we will check what is Unify Network first what is Unify Network? Unify Network consists of software applications as well as the hardware application which manage all your ubiquity devices such as Unify Access Point, Unify Switches and the Unify Gateways. So you can run Gateways, Switches and the Unify Wi-Fi Access Point. Within the Unify Network, if you manage all your devices on the Unify Network sites, you get you can get a real time insights of your network you can check within the dashboard if a client connected uh, uh, you can get each logs real time stacks you you can get a topology and the dashboard where you can view and manage your clients and the networks it manage internet settings Net, uh, network settings where you can configure your DSCP network, VLAN network as well as the wireless network settings. So also Unify network has a multi-tenancy options where you can deploy multiple sites within the single Unify network and you can separate it as a network and uh, it can manage uh, with a single client as a site admin as or a administrator which is a super admin which has access to all sites so you can do that within the unify network so unify network can be run on hardware controller software based controller, and the self-hosted controller which we have checked already on the last video so you can check what is the difference between the unify network if you run a hardware controller software based controller at the self host controller so you will get an idea so here we will see the unify network install and the adoption process so the adoption process is the uh, i mean the main process of the unify ubiquity devices you have to go through the adoption process to manage the unify devices so unify networks is pre-installed on the unify cloud gateways and the cloud keys so you have to make sure that uh, all the cloud keys which you get it's a hardware controller it has a pre-installed unify network controller on it you don't need to install any software you just connect it to the network you will get a unify network application you, you have to just set up the unify networks also you will get the pre-installed uh, unify network on the udm base model udr uh, unify dream machine pro unify dream wall se and the recently launched unify cloud gator ultra which has just unify network applications also there is other options like you can install the unify network on your windows machine mac and linux which is available on the download section and it is a free there is no charge for it you can self host it you can run the unify network on your machine also there are other self host cloud options which is the hostify you can uh, purchase a server from the hostify and your server will be instantly deployed and you can log in uh, with the uh, username and the password given so you don't need to install any software but if you go with the hostify cloud options also there are other self-host options where you can uh, run the ui glenn script 
on your own VM and you have to go through the CLI commands and you can install the Unify Network applications on it. So now comes the device adoption process. What is the device adoption process? So Unify devices go through the process of the device adoptions. So you need to set in form uh, the Unify devices which will send the request to the controller to adopt it and the devices will discover on the sites if you run the set in form command. As soon as the devices goes into the getting ready state and connected all settings are applied to the devices and once they are adopted all the settings will be uh, save on that site and even you can change it accordingly. Within the Unify network you can schedule device firmware update. Unify network controller collect device data and stats and you can monitor it on the controller dashboard. So this is the hardware controller as you can see here the screen it has UDM Pro, UDR, Cloud Gateway Ultra, Unify Express, Dreamwall and the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. This is just a Unify network for Unify network applications and the other applications and all these has uh, Unify gateway inbuilt on it and in the Unify Express you can have a Wi-Fi integrated as well as the dream wall it has a Wi-Fi integrated in the gateway so it categorized in large scale compact size and the Wi-Fi in in integrated so the for the large scale you can get UDM Pro UDM SC and even uh, the dream wall and for the compact size you have a Unify Express Cloud Gateway Ultra UDR uh, and the Wi-Fi integrated these all uh, uh, I mean the categorize for the Unify hardware controller as a gateways so now you will see the software controller and the self force so as you know the software controller you can install the Unify network application on your Mac Windows and the Linux machine uh, and it is a free uh, I mean there is no subscription fees it's a free open source you can download from the download sections and you can start your Unify applications and you can host yourself and there's other options called cloud hosted which, which is a self host so there are also Unify uh, official Unify cloud hosting available and you can cho choose that options and you can choose a third party uh, which is the Hostify cloud hosting and uh, you can even host your uh, Unify network on your own cloud VM virtual machine. So this is all uh, I mean this is the differences and it categorized and depending on your network you can choose a hardware controller for the network size and you can choose a cell force and everything so it's scalable and it depends. So now we will check the Unify network demo and we will go over through the Unify network and see uh, you know, what are the settings and everything you will get under the Unify networks. So now on the screen you see this is the Unify network I am running on the Unify Dream Machine Pro so you can say the Unify Cloud Gateway and I have Unify switches connected to it. Uh, here is a topology you can check I have my internet connection comes to the UDM Dream Machine Pro and the switches and the access when the clients are connected so you can see the I mean the Unify network application under the this is the Unify devices dashboard and this is a dashboard where you can view your, view your traffic identification your most active clients and the Wi-Fi technology and the most active access point uh, on your list and here you can see your internet activities download and upload and the client stats and even here you can check your speed test internet health uh, all the things you can check under the dashboard and yeah, after the dashboard you see the topology sections right now under the topology you can see uh, you can rotate your topology like this is the horizontal and you can even set to the vertical uh, depending on your needs also Unify has added uh, a smart uh, I mean uh, VLAN magic you can create your virtual networks from here now here is the Unify devices you will get a list of Unify devices from the options here you can either select Wi-Fi wired and you can set all so you will get all the Unify devices list here and the 
top right you will see the columns options and filter you can filter you can choose whatever you want to see under the list if you choose a mac address it will show the mac address the model and what's the version it is running and you can choose whatever column you need and you want to view on the devices list options you can use that and after that you will see the client devices here is the list of the client devices which is connected to the network you will see the wire uh, wired as well as the wi-fi list so right now there is no wired clients connected only the wi-fi you can see the list of the wi-fi clients connected on these networks and uh, you can check the strength uh, signal strength from the ap tx retries client balance what's memo configuration it is connected so you will get all the details of the client itself which is connected under the insights you can check uh, the insights uh, oh, of uh, i mean the traffic activities of this client you can check for the time base like one week one day and one month which ap here is the connection logs uh, these uh, devices uh, is uh, alexa is connected to iot wi-fi it was connected to u6 pro and was the signal strength and you can check all the logs under the settings you can set the last name you can put any note for your uh, understanding and here you can set the speed limit you can uh, I mean you can define the speed limit and set it on that uh, client devices and you can even lock to that access point if you use this option it will just connect it to this access point and under the IP settings you can just uh, use a fixed IP address or you want to override to your virtual network override if you choose this option it will uh, make sure uh, the new VLAN is allowed tag on all our streams which for to avoid unified device unreachability. So this is how you can do the user settings on each client devices which is connected to the network. After that you will check the ports. So here you can see I have one of my unified switch 8 port 60 volt is connected to the network so you can check the all port list. Here you can see the port 1 is used and the port 5 is used and you can see the list port 1 is uplink to the 24 port PO switch and the other port I have one of G3 flex is connected and you can just check the speed connection of the port. It is connected to 1 GB and this one is connected to 100 Mbps. So right now if you want to check I mean uh, the different VLAN things uh, how Unify do a VLAN. So here. Uh, you see the port name you can even port the power cycle the port if any po device is connected so right now the port is active you can disable or you can restrict the mac by mac id so right now this is the native vlan network which is your untapped traffic right now i have assigned to the cameras vlan so this cam uh this g3 flex is uh, getting an ip from this subnet range so it is untagged and here is a tag vlan right now i have allowed all and you, you can block all even you can set the custom vlan and you can tag the vlan whatever so this is how you can do tagging and tagging in unify switch uh, so even you can set the poe turn off and use here is the manual settings if you want to do the operations right now it is doing a switching operation but if you want to mirror the uh, switch ports you can use the switch mirroring and even you can aggregate if you choose the aggregate you have to just make sure to aggregate two ports so it choose the next port of that switch port which you use to aggregate so the aggregation is also works on the switch and let me show you other thing like uh, even you can uh, see the link speed right now it is automatic negotiating to 100 mbps and it, you can even set to the manually but like the unified j3 flex support 100 mbps so it's uh, uh fe uh, fast ethernet 100 mbps you can use this option port isolation storm control even the loop protection so it will do the spanning tree protocol and all those loop protection it will even uh, you can see lldp met is also enabled 
so you can uh, use uh, these options within the unify switch you can set up the configuration under the insights you will see uh, the ports inside which is connected to the unify switch you can see the download and upload speed as per the packet even you can check the poe power method right now i can check for the other switch right now i have uh, this uh, 24 poe switch like lots of devices is connected to this switch so you can check the speed one of my switch is connected uh, i mean the access point is connected to the fast ethernet so maybe i have to change the cable for it because the uh, cable is uh, i mean uh, faulty and i have to replace the cable so it should connect to the gb so this is how you can check within the ports you can check the insights and here is a vlan so you can check the vlan assignment here right now with the uh, blue color you can see it is shows as a native vlan and uh, if it is disconnected block it will show the gray and the green color is a tag so you can choose the port whichever you want to uh, tag and tag as i've shown you the native vlan is I mean the default it is connected to that here you can tag or untag so this is how you can check here is the radios manager where you can manage all your unify radios you can create new network you can choose a single access point and change the channel width change the uh, channel or uh, auto right now set to auto you can even set the transmit power and even you can set for globally for all access point you can choose specific uh i mean band here uh, 2.2 mo two cross two mimo you can choose everything from here and here is the part you will see it will show you the coverage of your network right now it says one ap needs uh, uh, deployment i mean the high density it needs an improvement you will see the stats of it so and here you can see your uh, clients uh, i mean coverage right now what devices is connected to the network you can see the coverage what wi-fi speed standard it is connected so the physical rate of the devices and what's the download and what's the channel uh with it is connected the signal strength and you can even check the roaming and the tx retries for each uh, client you can get the overview for it here is the connectivity right now if you get any association error or something like right now you can see the iphone 11 13 pro association failure so you can see the stats for that devices so right now all uh, dns association authentication everything is 100 percent the network is running fine even if you can check your rogue ap nearby access point from here under the connectivity for 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz and for the speed test you can check the wi-fi man app and you can see the last speed test which i have done uh, through my iphone using the uh, wi-fi man app and under the stats you know you will get all the stats uh, for all of the clients uh, you can uh, even choose a particular client and check the stat uh, what data they have used and downloaded and here is a geo filtering you can check uh, for the security stats for uh, i mean everything from here so here and right now also let me show you the hotspot manager because the hotspot manager option has been removed and it is bought under the uh, left uh, hand side options so you can check under the hotspot manager here under the you can set the landing page here you can give your name of your landing page hotspot and you can use the landing page or custom url if you want to set the any custom name here is the options to set the authentic information method like facebook password payment the voucher base even you can set for the radius here is the settings for the default expression of vouchers 8 hours 24 hours 3 days 2 days you can set that and the landing page settings you can set to show landing page right now the landing page is disabled you can just enable and save it and under the pre-authorization access these all settings you can use for the hotspot 
and here is the system logs where you can get all the logs and stats of the uh, client devices and the critical stats and security detections and the updates uh, if devices needs update and even for the client logs you can check here right now on the critical it will show you your primary internet connection is down and it will give you a notifications you can see your primary internet is experiencing packet loss to restart the modem contact your isp under the security detection it will detect the ips and ids uh, uh, if there is a, if, if there is any kind of detection so it will detect and it will block uh, right now i'm using uh, ips so it will just block that ip if any threat detected from any of the client devices on my network under the updates you will get to know the logs for the update if any devices is updated to the firmware version if the new firmware version available and under the admin activity you will get to know all the data who has access to my unify controller and what changes has been made you can check here i made some changes to the vpn traffic you can review it what changes was made under on that uh, settings the vpn traffic so you can get the logs of the admin activity here and here is the client logs i mean the client devices which roam, roam from one access point to the other access point you can get all the details of it under the ap you can any events which is occurred by the ap you should see that and this is the trigger you can check uh, i mean if there are any i mean uh, i mean as per the firewall rules, if the uh, phone was uh, blocked uh, by the firewall rule, if you, it will show under the trigger and if you run IPS and IDS, you will see uh, it blocks the traffic and you will see the uh, logs for those devices. As you can see, you can check all the logs for here and this is the push notification settings you can set to on and you can use whatever settings and push notification you want for your I mean on your email address on your push uh, on your iPhone on your phone you can get for the backup internet and if your device unified device is connected or disconnected it will, it will show up the push notification and the email notification you can set for the security detections you can get the uh, push notification and the email and the devices updated status admin access who have access to the controller will get a push notification and if there is client connection change if client disconnected from the network you will get a push notification email so it depends on your need you want to spam all the push notification and email so you can set accordingly to that and here is the settings where you can set all your uh, i mean the unified network wi-fi settings net network settings and the internet settings so you can choose all the settings from here under the wi-fi you can uh, manage all your wi-fi here under the networks there is a global network settings here you can create different different vlan network and it has own dscp and everything and under the internet you get your uh, i mean the van connection where you can set right now you can see primary van i have only primary van and if you have a secondary van you can set for the failover and the distributed load balance you can choose that option and even you can set your teleport vpn vpn server vpn client and side to side vpn you can use all those options and here is a security detections right now so i have used a device identification uh, and DPI deep packet inspection it's enabled and the traffic identification is also enabled and there is no con country restriction but you can restrict the country whichever you want to restrict from your network so even you can use the ad blocking right now I'm using for the default network you can choose the other network where it will use the ad blocking and I'm also using the DNS shield right now it is set to manual so only the cloudfare uh, is using as a dns shield and i have set the internal honeypot also like if there are any i mean as you know the honeypot features i have set the honeypot ip if there are any uh, i mean client was trying to detect uh, i mean connect to my network using the uh, the same ip of uh, my udm pro gateway it will detect as a honeypot ip and i will get an alert from the controller and here is the suspicious activity i'm using as an advance and right now the filtering 
mode is notify and block and the sensitivity i'm using high and even you can customize and the blocker and block known malicious ip is also set so this all settings you can do even you can set the routing policy based route static route and ospf you can get all those settings in the unify network in the profiles the ethernet ports you can set the wi-fi speed limit radius and ip groups and under the system you can set the journal update you can set the country region your language updates backups and the advanced options in the backups you can set the device firmware released and right now set to official so it will officially if the new firmware available which is stable it will i will get an options and it will automatically if you want to choose automatically updates or you don't want to do it manually you can uh, uncheck and if you want to do it uh, automatically you can just check these options and even you can schedule your update as i was talking about you can schedule the firmware updates here is the options to update the cache of the devices here is a backup of the uh, unify network controller you can daily backup of your controller you can set those settings here and under the advanced uh, sections you can uh, set the uh, i mean all the advanced settings for the controller you here is the device authentication after adoption like for the default uh, the device authentication the default uh, for ubiquity devices is ubnt as a username and password ubnt but after adoption the device authentication is saved under the settings so once adopted i have to use this username and password to ssh into the uh, devices if you don't want to have ssh option open you can just uh, uncheck this option and save it here you can set the logging levels right now i set to auto everything set to auto so you have seen the the overview of uh, the unified network controller uh what unified network controller manage within the the uh with the unified switch unified gateways and the access point so this is how you can manage all your network controllers on the unify cloud gateway you have seen the, the unify network demo how you can create a sites uh, wireless networks vpn and everything uh, on that unify network controller applications uh, so now we will see the example of the deployment uh, so here on the screen you see the full unify network deployment which means uh, right now on this uh, deployment you are using udm pro or se so which will act as your uh, cloud unified cloud gateway nvr as well as a unified network uh, in build uh, it runs multiple applications uh, like unified network unified protect for cameras unified talk for voice phone unified access for door and uh, you, uh, uh, and the unified talk i have already mentioned that okay so you can see uh, the internet uh it's coming to the udm pro and from the udm pro you have unify switch so you can manage the protect and uh, the access point as well as the client so i've shown these scenarios so this type of deployment you have seen most uh, of the networks uh, the customer uses as uh, when they have a unify udm pro or se in the network so you can deploy this and there is another example for the deployment you can go for the this example uh, where the cloud key gen 2 plus will be acting as your uh, controller the unified network application it uh, you can run the unified network application but the gateway is a usg pro or the uni uh, unify cloud gateway pro and this is a standalone gateway it does not have any unify applications on it so similarly in this uh, the gateway and the dscp will be running on the usg pro and the, the network controller will be running on the cloud key gen 2 plus and even the cloud key gen 2 plus the unify product application also but you can add a the UNVR or UNVR Pro for the product applications for uh, uh, large uh, pro product uh, cameras. So this type of uh, uh, deployment is uh, other, another example. And now we will see for the third example 
where you have any other gateways on your networks not the unified non unified gateways like the pfs and sony wall in network scenarios so you can add a cloud key gen 2 plus or you can even host on the cloud hosted controller which is hostify so here it will uh, everything will work as as it is but on the unify controller you can manage and uh, create the wifi networks and the vlan only networks and the dscp and everything handled by the pf since you can't manage them uh, i mean the routing dscp all those features which will be managed on the pf since itself only you can't manage on the unify controller so in this case scenarios you can use a cloud key gen 2 plus which will run the unify product and the unify network application if you don't want to use a cloud key gen 2 plus and you want to you can even manage on the hostify hosted platform and the for the product you can uh, get separate unvr for a small um, uh, use case and the unvr for, for large use case where you have tons of 4k cameras in 1080 print for uh, i mean uh, recordings for recordings so so this is type of network scenarios and the deployment you will get uh, with the unify it's pretty straight forward uh, but you, you you get to know the uh, i mean uh, understand i mean uh, what devices you should use in your uh, network environment depending uh, i mean if you want to run uh, more than uh, 30 access point like uh, access point you can't uh, run it on cloud key gen 2 plus uh, because uh, it memory uh, it will consume more memory in cpu so in that uh, scenario you can just get the cloud hosted controller for a hostify where you can manage that much of access point and the switches itself like for example in the udm pro uh, if you exceed uh, more than uh, 30 access points of switches like around uh, uh, like for close to 80 devices uh, which include access point switches uh, you will see the cpu and the memory will go high and the udm pro won't be uh, i mean uh, you will feel sluggishness uh, and it it will get disconnected and rebooted uh, so to avoid those things you can just simply migrate to the hostify in that case scenario but overall if you don't want to manage on the hostify you can just use this option so you can manage on the cloud kitchen 2 plus and but you need a gateway a router either you can choose a unify gateway or uh, the other third party gateway so or the vlans and everything dscp will work on the third party gateway not on the uh you know, not you can manage uh, from the unify controller so with this scenarios you can manage the wi-fi networks on the controller and the vlan only which will apply on the switch so i think uh, yeah so i think i've covered all the topic in this videos uh if you made uh, this part of the video so please make sure to subscribe the channel and i need your comments if you have any questions and doubts you can just uh, uh, reply back uh, on the comment if you have any questions thanks for watching bye